Dear viewers, welcome to 90 Day Fiancé Latest News. Watch the full video and give your valuable comments. Thank you. Thanks to his remarkable ability to persuade others, Michael Isle Sammy from 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, has raised over $40,000 to bring his legal struggle with Angela Dean. It was in 2017 that he first spoke with his American wife. Even though Angela was 20 years older than him, Michael loved her demeanor and didn't mind at all. The age difference wasn't a major issue at first, but as time went on, it grew increasingly so. Angela began displaying a number of warning signs, such as her short fuse and lack of trust, which led to numerous arguments and fights between her and Michael. Michael exerted every effort to ensure Angela was content. He allowed her to rule him because he wanted to create a future with her in America. Michael and Angela were happy to be together after being married in Nigeria in 2020. Nevertheless, their spousal visa application was delayed by the COVID-19 epidemic. After their marriage, Michael and Angela were faced with far too many unsolvable problems. With every year that went by, their problems got worse, and they continued to be that way even after they got back together in the US. In the end, Michael decided to part ways with Angela in order to be happy and safe. In his poisonous marriage to Angela, Michael made himself appear to be the victim, but there are some hints that he was always the one who was acting out of control. He started a committed relationship with Angela in 2018. Even though they were very different in age, Michael was committed to Angela and treated their relationship with respect. He also became overconfident in himself after Angela trusted him. Sadly, their easygoing connection didn't survive for very long. Early in their relationship, Michael cheated on Angela. He had an affair with another woman, which destroyed her heart. When Michael hitched a ride with another woman and became a little too intimate with her, the drama started. He betrayed his trust and broke Angela's heart by allowing her to satisfy him. After being called out for it by his American companion, Michael likewise attempted to minimize the circumstances. Michael kept acting more shady and trying his wife's tolerance with his suspicious conduct after the first adultery scandal. Over the years, Michael has succeeded in painting Angela as the poisonous one, responding furiously to his numerous instances of dishonest behavior and cheating scandals. From the beginning, Michael was an expert manipulator. He attempted to conceal other things from Angela during the years in addition to downplaying his cheating scandal. He continued to be married to her, but he kept his savings account and WhatsApp group private. Angela had no reason to trust Michael. He just told her to trust him, yet he consistently betrayed that confidence. When Michael talked to another woman in 2022, he actually hurt her. Once more, he downplayed his actions and painted Angela as the source of their marital problems by using gaslighting techniques. Intimacy is what everyone in a long-distance relationship craves. Angela felt the same way about Michael when he arrived in America and desired to make love to him. She was excited to take him home and was glad to be with him. Michael, though, felt something different. Instead of sharing a bed with Angela, he slept on a couch. The cast member of 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, did nothing to work on his connection with Angela. Rather, he held her responsible for every problem, despite the fact that he'd avoided closeness. Michael made himself appear innocent while cruelly breaking Angela's heart. He spoke with her grandchildren and earned her family's trust by coming off as sincere. Angela gave Michael permission to enter the country in 2023 so he could carry out his lawful responsibilities as her spouse. She greeted him like a king and fulfilled his American dream. But Michael never gave a damn about Angela's sentiments, nor did he ever respect her sacrifices. Like any true scam artist, Michael played mind games with Angela and her grandchildren before leaving them a few months later. Unlike before, Michael made no attempt to patch things up with Angela. After arriving in America, he changed and stopped caring for her. At 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, Michael also played the victim, Tell All Season 8. Knowing that his actions would make her seem awful in front of everyone, he continued to infuriate Angela. 
Michael expertly exploited his victim status to transform his scam narrative into a survival tale. Even though he was the one who cheated and participated in a dubious WhatsApp group discussion, he managed to get his co-stars to cheer for him. Michael has made some shady decisions after separating from Angela in early 2024. In August, Michael launched a fundraiser with a $50,000 goal to hire a nice defense attorney against Angela, but quickly changed his demand to $25,000 to make it more realistic. He asked fans to help him and reached his fundraising goal within two days. Michael's action of changing the fundraising goal makes him look shady. While Angela filed for annulment in June 2024, Michael timed the GoFundMe right after Tell All was released to get maximum fan support and donations. Even after surpassing his target, Michael is still advertising his fundraiser. To raise as much money as possible, he shares the GoFundMe link on his Instagram account frequently rather than removing it. Since starting his campaign, Michael has raised more than $40,000. He hasn't revealed any information about his legal battle yet, but he has enough money to employ a lawyer. It's likely that Michael conned his audience by requesting more money than he actually required. The 90-day engaged couple, a happy ending. He just posted an Instagram story from Discount Tire, suggesting that he may have even used that money to buy a new automobile. This gossip is over, if you liked the video, then give your opinion in the comment box and stay with us by subscribing the channel. Thank you.